Right. Good morning to you once again. Thank you so much for joining us here in Morning at NTV. Uh, we take yet another direction of looking at the affairs happening within the House of Legislators, and that is the Parliament of Uganda. As in the wake of this morning, five National Unity Platform members of Parliament suspended as government defense Chagulani interception. And of course, we all know what has been happening also in the course of Parliament as of last week. The Zake Nyamitama uh, video, that whole Chinyamitama video that has also been making circulations and so we do have a side of defense that has come to join us here in studio to give us their voice uh, of reason and their side of the story and that is honorable member of parliament zake good morning to you sir yeah good morning to you it's been a tough year for you i must say 2023 you have uh, been the most popular member of parliament uh, but for reasons that are not good in the first place but most recently uh, in the wake of the last 24 hours let's talk about the reaction to the suspension of you and the other members of parliament uh the suspension that happened uh, yesterday in parliament uh we regard this as something that was very unfair to us reason being that uh, we saw what happened last week. The members of parliament belonging to the government side, that is the NRM, they came up, uh, did exactly what we did yesterday. Echoing in parliament, shouting in parliament, banging the chairs of parliament with our own hands. And those members of parliament, they were never touched. Actually, they went ahead to threaten to beat me and undress me. That's how far they went. Mm -hmm. So I'm talking about the double standards of our presiding officers in parliament, especially the speak of parliament and her deputy, the way they behave in that parliament. They behave as if they are above the law. They don't follow the rules of procedure. You know that I won parliament in the constitutional court, in the court of appeal. I won parliament. And here we are, we are in parliament, they allowed a video in parliament to be played about my issues. And yesterday, they disallowed a video to be played as evidence in reaction to the statement of the Minister of Internal Affairs. And on what grounds did they disallow your video? Of course, no grounds. Mm -hmm. We, as our leader, the leader of opposition in parliament, went to the ICT department before went to the deputy speaker of parliament who was supposed to preside over the house yesterday, presented the video, she gave it a green light, took it to the ICT, they prepared it so well, before even the house could resume. And everything was prepared and ready. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, when it came to the time of playing it in parliament, the person who was supposed to play it disappeared. And the security operatives in parliament took away the flash that was supposed to be used but to play the video. But this person was in the vicinity, in the building, before the parliament. In the plenary, in the plenary, in the building where we debate from, mm -hmm. inside the room where we debate from. Okay. The ICT staff member of parliament was there when the parliament was beginning. Mm -hmm. They requested the video to be played. Even he attempted to play it, it started loading to begin playing. Immediately, it was stopped. Under which orders, me and you, and the whole of the mem members of parliament on our side, we do not know how it so happened that they refused to play it, and the staff of, the staff of parliament disappeared out of the blue, mm -hmm. got out, and never returned. So that's what happened, and those are the double standards we are talking about, that they side of government can do anything they want in that parliament. Mm -hmm. But on our side, when we decide to do something that exactly that has been done by the NRM members of parliament, it is never done. Those are, that is the unfairness that we are talking about. You know, I want parliament. And parliament, actually, parliament was ordered by court to follow the law, 
to follow our own rules of procedure. It is very unfortunate that parliament that makes the laws, it doesn't follow its own rules of procedure. It doesn't follow the law it makes. It is really very, very unfortunate. Uh, Honorable, let's go back to the video that you, that, um, you know, the leader of opposition had put into submission to be played in the parliamentary sitting. What are the contents on that video that were not played? Now that's where the issue comes from. They came up with a video last week of myself talking in as a constituency of an inner member of parliament. This video was going to respond to the issues of the, inter the Minister of Internal Affairs. Mm -hmm. Those issues, they were talking about uh, how our supporters were treated on the day of independence, of how our president... And you're referring to some of your leaders who are whisked away in the, you know... Exactly. ...drawn and taken, and the leader who are the spiritual leader that you had called upon at the party headquarters. You're referring to those? Yes, okay. referring to those leaders. They, are, they actually arrested, not even arrested, the leaders who were abducted on that day at our party headquarters. But most importantly, about the day of independence, when our president was expected to return in the country on the 5th of October, the way they whisked him away, the way he was handled, they were actually the way he was mishandled. Mm -hmm. So that's what we wanted to show the country. But most importantly, the way they arrested the media, the media people, the journalists, the way they were mishandled, mm -hmm. the way they were arrested, the way they were beaten, the one inch, the way they were treated. We wanted to depict the violations of human rights how they violate our rights and you know whenever they do bad things they don't always want the country to know whenever they do atrocities to us they don't always want those atrocities to come to light mm -hmm. so we wanted to expose them and they didn't want the exposure because they know they are always on the wrong side but i know that you won't be intimidated by this do you intend to still go ahead after the suspensions uh, to still go ahead and make your case before the members of parliament actually right from here I'm going to Parliament. I was suspended, but I'm going to enter Parliament. Yeah, but because I was sent to Kampala for me, I'm a Mitiana bond. According to the rules of Parliament, 84 up to um, 4, it states that if a member is suspended, his or her suspension in the first occasion is a session, shall in a session shall be the next three sittings. You have not yet gotten into the next three sittings for you to go back to Parliament. Just like how I've asserted it. This suspension was unfair. You have to set the reason as to why you've suspended someone. Is the reason of suspension clear? So Has it been mentioned? by word of mouth, you need a document to state your suspension and results of your suspension. Other than that, you're still going to go back to I'm parliament. going to parliament. Okay. Today I'm going to parliament. For me, I didn't know Kampala. I'm a, a Mitiana born. I came to Kampala to represent the people of Mitiana. I'm not supposed to be in Kampala to sleep just like the NRM people. For them, they just come here. They don't want to attend. Those who don't want to attend parliament, they are left free. But us who want to be in parliament and present the issues of Ugandans, they are not, we are not allowed. So they want members of parliament who are nothing doers to be there, mm -hmm. us who want to present issues that affect our people. We are not allowed in there. So th those are the double standards we are talking about. Even in parliament, actually put this clear in parliament. I told them that when you were playing my video, mm -hmm. it didn't even take a minute. It was played instantly. But this video took about 30 minutes, actually more than the minutes, the 30 minutes. And it was played and nothing happened. So from right here, I'm going to parliament with my other fellow members of parliament to get there. If they refuse us, the country will see. Because for us, we are not violent, just like how they want to state it that we are violent people. Okay. We are not what they regard us. The members of parliament being referred to here, of course, himself, you do have Betty Nambose, you do have uh, Honorable Joyce Bagala, Honorable Derek Nyeko, you do have Honorable Frank Kawi, uh, those are part of the MPs that are facing the suspension, or should we say the wrath of, of the Titans. Now, away from that, why do you think you're receiving this kind of hostility from parliament? Yeah, yesterday in parliament, uh, I rose up to speak on the, on the matter of procedure because according to me, Parliament was not proceeding well mm -hmm. and I wanted to be guided. 
and it was very embarrassing of the members of the NRM in parliament shouting on, on top of their voices, being rowdy. They didn't want me to speak at all. They wanted to shut me down. They wanted to shut me up. Mm -hmm. So the whole world saw, the whole country saw, fellow members of parliament saw that, and I insisted that I have to speak. So they didn't want me to speak. They were hostile towards me. It was very, very unfortunate. And the speaker had to first guide them for over five minutes. The speaker to first cool them down. But I remember previously when I came up in parliament to speak, you know, sh I was shouting on, on top of my voice. I was referred to the committee mm -hmm. of discipline. And now here you have not more than, not less than five members of parliament doing the same act and there's lenience on their side. Exactly. Because in your opinion, they are with the ruling government. Exactly. The NRM MPs, they were never referred to the disciplinary committee. They were never suspended. But they were doing exactly the same things. But because it is me, because I'm Zake, who has been tortured, who has been abducted before, who has been, you know, in courts of law because of that parliament, it's the reason as to why those members of parliament are actually exposing their hostility to me. So, Honorable Zake, what's the next course of the leader of opposition in parliament? Of course, our next cause of action is us to keep on the cause, to keep on track, to forward our issues. We shall keep on forwarding our issues to the parliament. Mm -hmm. So even when, there, we, even when the five of us who have been suspended are not allowed to get inside the parliament, just like how we expect it to be, because we must get there. We're not just going to keep in our homes. We are going to get there. And every day till when they allow us to enter. So those of us who will be allowed in, they have to do exactly what we are doing. We have to expose this government. We have to expose the double standards of what they are doing and that it is not right. Okay. That's what we have to keep doing. All right. Now let's go back to some time earlier on this year, court rule, having come out over that issue, ruling that you were illegally removed uh, from your seat of a parliamentary commissioner. You have not yet been given access to your office, though. Is that right? And what, what's your response to this appeal? And why are you not in office, sir? First and foremost, I regard as parliament being disobedient to the orders of the Court of Appeal, to the Constitutional Court. It is very unfortunate that Parliament disobeys court. Because even when Parliament has come up with a notice of appeal, mm -hmm. it has to still go to, pa to the same court to seek for stay that let Zake keep outside the Commission. But it has not done that. Yet Parliament itself came out on its Twitter handle and it alleged that it is going to follow the law in accordance to the orders of court. But up to now, it has not been implemented. And it's very, very, very bad. Reason being, this is Parliament that's supposed to be making the law. If you make the law, you're expected to be respecting the law. Mm -hmm. But because the House is led by people who really violate the laws of this country, they do not care about what happens. So to me, I will insist and keep fighting for the rule of law in this country as a person. I will keep on persisting on what that I think is right okay. for me, not just for me as a person, but as a country at large, because what has, uh, has been the problem and what is still the problem of this country is the breakdown of all the institutions of government, including parliament itself. Mm. That has been the problem and is still the problem, and that's what we have to fight for. Okay. All right, let's talk about the, um, the other issue that you have, uh, your confrontation with the uh, Honorable Member of Parliament, Woman MP in Rakai. You are yet to face the disciplinary committee tomorrow. Uh, it's actually very... I don't even know how to term it, but it's really unfortunate mm. that uh, such issues are given time when there are very many pertinent issues that are supposed to be given time by parliament. Mm -hmm. It's really very 
nasty of parliament to come up to actually get down to matters that are that matters that are supposed to be handled by police, matters that are supposed to be handled by courts of laws, and then it is parliament handling them. Mm. Such matters are not supposed to be in parliament. Such matters are not supposed to be given time in parliament, mm. but personal issues that has been the order of the day of this 11th parliament and it's very unfortunate you know it is you know they speak of parliament fighting with a fellow fighting with another minister of the same party now uh, they speak of parliament fighting with a youthful member of parliament who's j i'm just clicking that years mm -hmm. and she's in getting to her 60s and she's fighting with me personal issues but okay. the egos so it is really very very bad parliament too get that law you know for me i'm always ready for anything and you know i've always been winning i've won government many times over my torture over claims that i escaped from police you All can right. imagine so over claims we, that we trust that you're also going to be winning against the discipline yeah i'm actually consulting my lawyers uh, but what we pick out of all this is that there's uh, a lot of double standing yeah. and uh, double standards when it comes to yeah. rules and regulations and procedures being In followed parliament. within the parliament of yeah. uganda yeah. and this is according to honorable francis zake mitiana member of parliament yeah, Court. And according to court, equally. All right. So thank you so much, Honorable, for giving us your time and your voice of uh, reason and opinion on the matter. Now let's join.